It's snack time! I really need to think of a better intro. But welcome to a video of an Ayatu box opening, uh, particularly for September 2017. I'll probably be making these every month or so, because that's how subscription box works. Um, as you can tell from the front here, or rather, maybe you can't if you don't know Japanese, uh, this is a subscription-based snack box. As you can see up there, it says snacks and it's from Japan. Also weighs 750 gra uh, 735 grams if you're really interested. And as with a lot of other things, this is a subscription box uh, where every month they send you random snacks and stuff and little gifts. Now, those of you with keen eyes may notice that this box is already open. That is because I started recording this already, but I ran out of room. So I got to literally opening it and discussing what was on these flyers here. And then it ran out of room. Thankfully, I've deleted everything now. So this should go well, hopefully. Anyway, I will briefly show you this before we dive in. So this uh, leaflet comes with every uh, box and basically tells you what you get. But I'm not going to show you that because I think that'll spoil the video. And this month has a particular theme, which is Team Edition. As you can see down here, each little um, wrestler person has a particular drink. And when you order these, you could choose which team you're on, yellow, blue, or red. And with each team came a different drink. So this is CC Lemon, that is Pepsi Strong, and that is something I can't remember the name of. So we'll see inside which one I chose. I already know, which is helpful because I'm the one that ordered it. And apparently there's an Ice Lolly DIY kit in here, which is cool. Also, just a quick heads up, I won't be trying any of these foods in this episode. I'll do a separate video of the kind of review wrap-up thing, just because I know that A, this needs freezing, and B, the drink that comes with it also needs to be refrigerated for 24 hours. And I'd prefer to kind of get this out now, and then maybe spend, you know, a week or so doing the reviews. Anyway, there's also, in this, where's that gone? Uh, okay, I'll jump cut. Actually, it would it had fallen behind, but as you can see here, and this is something I really like, they did mention, there's learning cards. So there's Aka, which is red, Au, blue, and Kiro, which is yellow. I think I pronounced that right. I don't know. Uh, I cannot read that because that is kanji. I can read Katakana and Hiragana, but that's about it. And of course, this is the... This is the little code card that comes with it, and as it says here, if you are an Oyatsu box member, you can get 20% off uh, the Oyatsu Cafe, which is basically their version of the shop, but you can order specific items and stuff, and 20% is pretty good, so if you are a member of this, you probably already got the card, so I don't know why you'd need to see this, but whatever. Okay, so with that in mind, let's jump straight into this. Now, I do like they've put packing paper, because uh, before they didn't used to. That's not... A criticism or anything, but I haven't ordered in a couple months, so it's cool to see they've kind of stepped it up a little. Now, they have included the drink already, which is real gold. Um, I don't mean to put a negative spin on this, but I did actually order the Pepsi Strong, which is the blue team, because energy drinks, generally speaking, aren't really my thing. I mean, Pepsi Strong is anyway. Uh, but it seems that they sent me the red one anyway. That's fine. I mean, I wasn't sold on Pepsi uh, Strong anyway. Neither of the three drinks I was madly uh, big on. So, as we can see here, uh, Tsuya Kitsuto. I don't know what that says, actually. I, I can read what it says, but I can't read the words, if that makes sense. But yeah, this seems to be an energy drink, which is cool. I will give it a try. You know, I'm... Happy to try any weird kind of snack things. So that is the drink that comes with it. That is the whole team part. Let's see, what is this corner thing? It is... Ooh, is this uh, Love Live? Or is this... Right, I'm going to check the little leaflet thing, and I'll be right back. I am back. And yes, this is indeed Love Live Sunshine. Uh, it's a wafer biscuit, I think. And I think it said it comes with something. Sorry, jump cut again, I needed to go check that. And yes, it comes with the holographic card from one of the girls from Love Live Sunshine. I never watch any Love Live stuff, but I do have it on my list and crunchy all the things to watch because I like music and it seems cute. And cute and music go together quite well, especially in Japan. What is next? 
Oh, Milky. Now, I've seen stuff about this. The um, artwork is kind of reminiscent of, you know, um, 50s kind of era packaging and stuff. Obviously, it's more of a uh, Japanese style, but I don't know. It's kind of reminiscent. And these, I think, are uh, little chocolate ball things. Okay, they're milk-flavoured candies, uh, apparently. So I was kind of... Uh, and they're each individually wrapped, which is why it kind of sounds like there's tea bags or something in here rather than sweets. I don't know what that said. Oh, actually, that's Mirky. Mirky. Ah, Milky. There we are, Mirky. Cool. Looks pretty cool. And again, as I said, I'll make a separate video reviewing all of these. Sorry for knocking the camera. What is this big bag? It is my... Oh, this is popcorn. Now, I don't think I've had this flavour before. Or I may have. This flavour is butter soy flavour. Now, I think I had something like vanilla or something a while ago in one of the other Atsu boxes from last year. Yeah, this is popcorn, as you can tell. It's Mike's popcorn. So it's nice of him to share it with us. The packaging is very uh, colourful and stuff. Which is part of the reason I love uh, Japanese foods, because even fairly basic things like popcorn or whatever have quite colourful and impactful uh, wrappings. Next up is... Oh, boy. Oh, okay. I thought this was one piece for a second, but this is um, Doraemon instead. Uh, ah, I can't... I can't remember the name of these, but I had the salad uh, flavour before. Basically, these are little biscuits, and they're flavoured biscuits, and I will check the flavour of this in a second. Okay, so these are just uh, salty crackers. Maybe the ones before were also just salted, but yeah, this is a special edition with Doraemon as a pirate there. That's pretty cool, and apparently there is some Doraemon-shaped uh, piece. Ah, there we are. Or, well, specifically... Um, sort of pirate-themed ones, but I guess that's Doraemon and that's other things. Yeah, that's pretty darn cool, actually. I do like Doraemon. Never really watch any of the shows or read any manga. Is he in manga? I think he's in some manga. I could be wrong, though. Let's dive in to grab the next piece, which is... Ooh, no, I think this is a um, stick, a sort of crunchy stick, if that makes sense. I think I'm just rambling now. This is an Umaibo stick, uh, and it's tonkatsu flavour. Tonkatsu, I think, is a type of curry, but I could be wrong. If it is something else, I'll put it in the um, in the bottom here of the screen. And, yeah, this is the specific flavour, but these are very nice. I've had quite a few of these before. They're quite light and stuff. They're kind of like, well, corn snacks, basically. Let us get into the next one, which is... Ooh. Hello. Is this fish? That's pretty cool if it is. Okay, yeah, this is apparently traditional Japanese snack made of dried cod coated in okonomiyaki sauce. I don't know what that is, but as you can see, it's very flat. It's literally one small piece of cod, but that's actually kind of cool. I'm really interested in trying this because I used to hate fish until the start of the year, but I started eating more fish and now I really like it. And it was all in preparation for a yatsu box. Ooh, what is this? This is cola flavoured something. And also, uh, the top there seems to be cola a tu pu. Okay, these are apparently vending machine type gummies. Uh, you can't feel it on camera, obviously, because that's not how visual mediums work. But it, there's kind of a flat plastic thing, and there's little lumps where the candies are. This is cola and orange flavour, apparently which would explain why there's one coloured uh, one and one orange coloured one. Okay, we have some very cute... Well, they kind of look a bit like executes, except they're all pink, and one of them is flowing some pink liquid from his head, but seems pretty happy about it. Ah, right, this is apparently called roulette gum. Well, there are three pieces in each pack. And two of them are very sweet, and one of them is very sour. And these are to share with friends. Now, all I need to do is get some friends. Let's not deal in the impossible here. Right, what is the next item? Ooh, okay, this feels rather large. Ah, this is probably the ice lolly thing. I will just double check. Okay, and also, just for uh, clarity, it is ice lolly as in a lollipop, and not ice lolly as in the other type of Japanese lolly. I don't think... 
I don't think Oyatu Box uh, is going to be supplying anyone with those. So there is a Gashapon, uh, which is good because that is one of the reasons I get these boxes. But we'll first talk about Umaiwa Chocolate. Uh, these are from the same creators as the Umaibo things, which is the little puffure. But they're little chocolate pieces. They're made to melt in your mouth, apparently. And actually, if we look at it, I believe that's the same mascot as well. Yes, it is. He's just wearing a different clothes. Kind of makes him look a bit like Zero from Mega Man. Uh, a little bit, actually. No, he kind of looks more like a Sentai Ranger or something, I suppose. That's pretty cool. Okay, and the last thing is a Gashapon. Now, hang on. I will hide it for a second. Okay, I don't think it actually says on here what the Gashapon is. Is it Gashapon or Gashapon? I can never work out. Okay, so apparently this month's theme is stall miniatures. So these are miniatures of Japanese festival food stalls. That is actually pretty darn cool. So I'm going to open it up. and So I think I've got a yellow. And I believe the guide here says that uh, yellow is choco banana. That's pretty cool, actually. I'll open this up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's look at the leaflet first. Uh, so that's showing all the stalls, basically. This is actually really cool. I'm hoping I have some figures that are in the right scale to this, but I don't think I do, because this is, as you can see, quite small. Uh, I will open it up, actually, and then we'll start reading, rather than reading through some pla shiny plastic here. Ooh, wow. That is cool. So... Uh... Is it going to focus? Come on, you know you want to focus. Well, it says Choco Banana. Anyway, that's Banana and Chioko. I think, anyway. Uh, that is really cool. So this is a little soft, as you can see with the plastic. You can push it in a bit. The rest isn't, but that is, that is really cool. And there's a little sticker of all the bananas and stuff. It is a keychain, which I've never been all that fond on, because I just like displaying figures as they are, really. There's no, like, reason to really hang them off anything, because especially with things like this, if you hang them off a bag or something, you know, something will be caught in that and just snap the uh, little plastic. But overall, that is really cool, actually. I'm really digging that. I'll, I'll definitely probably put some photos up uh, at some point on my Instagram for this. Uh, if you do have an Instagram and want to follow me, the link is in the description below. I will put that there. So, overall, this has been a pretty darn cool box, I think. Especially a nice one to come back to. The one thing I'm most looking forward to, I think, is the Doraemon things and the Umaibo. Uh, as you can tell, I'm more of a savoury person than a sweet person. That is not to say I am not looking forward to the rest of this stuff. I remember specifically these Mike Popcorn things. Uh, the butter one I'm really looking forward to, because I think the vanilla one I had was delicious. And butter's pretty easy to do. And yeah, I will try my hand at this also, and come back to you guys with a review of the food in about a week, maybe two weeks. Because, generally speaking, this is a lot of food, and I'm not going to try just little nibbles of each one, because... I prefer to have the full experience of really eating these things. And of course, if you have enjoyed the video, do feel free to maybe subscribe to the channel. That would be really cool. That would be the best way for you to find out when I put up the review of the food and other videos. And of course, feel free to leave a comment if you'd like, if you want to add something or ask anything. I am more than happy to reply. And until next time, goodbye.